Neptune is the farthest planet from the Sun and is one of the most fascinating bodies in our solar system. It marks the end of our solar system, so safe to say this one's always been fairly special. You see, Neptune has intrigued astronomers for centuries and continues to be a source of speculation and mystery today. Named after the Roman god of the sea, Neptune is a gas giant planet with an icy blue atmosphere that hides some incredible secrets. And well, the James Webb Telescope just released an image that totally flips everything we've ever known about the icy planet. Neptune was first observed by Galileo in 1612, who initially thought it was a star because of its slow movement across the night sky. However, two centuries later, in 1846, French mathematician Urbain Jean Joseph Le Verrier and English astronomer John Couch Adams independently predicted the location of Neptune based on changes in Uranus's orbit. This discovery was later confirmed by German astronomer Johann Gottfried Galle and his assistant Heinrich de Lest, who identified the planet in Berlin using a telescope. It was clear that this was no star. It was definitely a planet. And it was insane! At almost 58 times the volume of Earth and over 17 times its mass, Neptune is one of the most massive planets in our solar system. Beneath its icy blue atmosphere, which is made up of hydrogen, helium, methane, and ammonia, lies a small rocky core surrounded by an ocean of liquid water, ammonia, and methane ice. This makes Neptune incredibly unique due to the fact that it has both a solid and liquid component, something not seen on any other planet in our solar system. Neptune is home to one of the most extreme weather conditions in our solar system, with temperatures reaching as low as negative 214 degrees Celsius and winds that reach supersonic speeds. It's safe to say that the living conditions on this planet are not ideal whatsoever. In addition to all of that, its magnetic field is also offset from its center by almost 50%, making it one of the strongest planetary magnetic fields in our solar system. To make it easier to gauge, if you weighed 100 pounds on Earth and then just stepped on Neptune's surface, you'd instantly gain 13 pounds. Just because the gravity is so strong. Because of how far Neptune is from Earth, the only mission to ever visit Neptune was Voyager 2 in 1989, which revealed some incredible features such as the now famous Great Dark Spot, a swirling storm system similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot. In addition to that, its moon Triton is one of the most interesting moons in our solar system due to its unique retrograde orbit and icy terrain. It's unlike anything we call normal. With its unique conditions, Neptune ends up being basically like the complete opposite of Earth. The gas giant has been called the Blue Planet since its discovery in 1846 and continues to mystify scientists today. This leads me to our first main question. Why is Neptune blue? The answer lies within its unique atmosphere. The blue coloration of Neptune comes from a combination of two factors, an unknown compound and the absorption of light by methane in its atmosphere. The first factor has yet to be identified, but scientists theorize that it may be related to trace amounts of phosphorus or sulfur compounds in the planet's atmosphere. The second factor is the absorption of red light by methane in the planet's mostly hydrogen-helium atmosphere. You see, methane absorbs a lot more strongly in the red portion of the spectrum, giving a blue appearance to Neptune's cloud cover. Although Neptune looks beautiful from a distance, it has hostile weather conditions that makes it a harsh place to live. We've already glossed over that a little bit earlier, but let's take a closer look at why. Its atmosphere is composed of several layers, the uppermost one being comprised mostly of hydrogen and helium. But those gases don't work alone. The next layer down contains methane, nitrogen, carbon monoxide, and other exotic compounds such as ethane and acetylene. 
It also has large concentrations of ammonia crystals, which give the clouds their white coloration. Beneath the clouds lie a layer of liquid hydrogen and helium, which is composed of partially ionized gas. All of them come together to affect what Neptune eventually looks like from afar. The blue hue of Neptune can also be attributed to its high-speed circulation patterns, which move at up to 2,000 miles per hour. This helps keep the atmosphere more evenly mixed than other planets in our solar system, which can cause the blue color to appear even more vibrant. The extreme cold temperatures on Neptune also contribute to its distinctive coloration, as lower temperatures tend to produce a less saturated blue. Neptune's distance from the Sun also plays an important role in its appearance, as it gets little sunlight to help warm and drive its atmosphere. This means that the Sun's rays are less visible on Neptune, and its atmosphere is composed of a deeper blue hue. While that's a phenomenon that's more visual than something that would bother the average scientist, the universe is vast and full of mysteries, some of which have been solved over the years while others remain hidden to this day. One such mystery is about Neptune mass exoplanets, or hot neutrinos. Planets orbiting distant stars that are quite similar in size and mass to our own solar system's outermost planet. Despite technology and telescope advances, the question of why there are so few hot neutrinos has confused astronomers. Well, until now. In a recent study, researchers from the University of Geneva have managed to uncover some clues as to why these planets remain relatively rare in our universe. By combining two observation techniques, the radial velocity method and the transit method, which detect exoplanets when they pass in front of or move away from their star, the team has determined that planets in the hot Neptune desert are likely to have migrated farther away from their stars after forming. And well, if you really think about it, it does make a lot of sense too. The UNIGE researchers also noted that many of these planets' orbits were highly eccentric, meaning they had much less circular shape than average. This could be evidence for migration which, the team theorized, could be why these planets ended up so far away from their stars. In other words, some external force may have sent them out of their original orbit plane and force them into an inclined trajectory. And it doesn't even end there. The hypothesis was further supported by the fact that around three quarters of these planets orbit above their stars' poles. This could have been caused by disruptive migration, wherein an external force sends them on a much more inclined trajectory than would otherwise be expected. The study is part of the larger Spice Dune, spectrophotometric inquiry of close-in exoplanets around the desert to understand their nature and evolution project, which seeks to understand how planets in the Neptune desert formed and evolved. This work is a crucial step towards achieving this goal. With more data being collected, researchers will be able to better understand why hot neutrinos remain relatively rare and what other factors may have played a part in their dispersal. At the moment, it is still not known why these planets have been so widely dispersed throughout the universe. However, by combining data from telescopes and observational techniques such as radial velocity and transit methods, researchers are slowly beginning to uncover a pattern that may help provide an answer. It's just another small step in the process of solving one of the universe's greatest mysteries. Speaking of which, have you ever wondered what lies beyond Neptune? If you almost said Pluto, you wouldn't be the only one. But the reality is a lot more complicated than that. It turns out that not only does this part of space contain a wealth of fascinating celestial objects, but one in particular has recently made some groundbreaking discoveries. And it's not Pluto, it's Quor. Quorar is a dwarf planet discovered by astronomers in 2002, and it's located way past Neptune in the outer reaches of our solar system. Because of its distance though, it's always been pretty difficult to study properly, but that has changed. Recently, astronomers were able to observe Quorar as it passed between Earth and a few much brighter stars. What they noticed was something that has never been seen before. 
Quarar was surrounded by a mysterious ring of material. This discovery is extraordinary for several reasons. The most important being that this ring should have been impossible in the first place. The traditional belief is that matter beyond a certain point in space should not form a ring, but instead would coalesce under its own gravity and form something like our moon. This boundary is referred to as the Roche limit. But with Quarar's ring being much further out from the Roche limit than expected, astronomers are left scratching their heads and searching for answers. It turns out that the only way to detect this ring was through oculations or eclipses. It was during these moments that Quarar passed between Earth and several distant but much brighter stars, resulting in a noticeable dip in the brightness of those stars. This phenomenon is actually quite common when looking for exoplanets, so ESA's exoplanet hunter, Cheops, was sent out to observe the oculations. When analyzing Cheops's data, astronomers noticed something strange. Two smaller drops in brightness that occurred before and after the main oculation. This suggests that Quar must be surrounded by a ring. What made the results even more persuasive is that these findings were supported by Earth-based telescopes, which ruled out the possibility of atmospheric distortion as a factor. Now astronomers are faced with two options. Either they must re-examine their understanding of the Roche limit, or there must be another explanation for Quarar's ring. With that came another question. The things that we have been sure that we've always known, what about those? Is it possible that our concept about space and our solar system with it was wrong from the get-go, and we just didn't know it? To answer that question, it was necessary for scientists around the world to revisit the information they knew about each planet and then figure out if there was anything they might have missed. With newer technology, it has become a lot easier to learn new details about planets that even telescopes had a hard time seeing a few decades ago. So they got to work. We live in a universe full of mysteries and the newly revealed image of Neptune taken by the James Webb Telescope is one of them. Its terrifying new details will shock you, for it reveals that Neptune isn't what we've been told. Located 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth, Neptune has been studied since its discovery in 1846. It was always thought to be an ice giant due to the chemical makeup of its interior, with methane gas giving off a signature blue appearance at visible wavelengths when viewed through Hubble Space Telescope images. But that's not what James Webb saw. James Webb's near-infrared camera captured images of Neptune in the near-infrared range from 0.6 to 5 microns. To the surprise of scientists, they discovered that Neptune is much darker than previously thought. Covered in a frozen sheen of nitrogen, Triton reflects an average of 70% of the sunlight that hits it and is brighter than Neptune itself. The implications of these discoveries are both fascinating and frightening to consider. Could this mean that our current understanding of Neptune is completely wrong? Is there something lurking beneath the planet's surface that we have yet to uncover? It could be anything, from mysterious life forms to powerful energy sources, all unseen by us until now. The research team used observations from some of the best telescopes in the world, including Keck and Subaru telescopes in Hawaii and NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope. Their analysis revealed a cooling trend across most of Neptune's atmosphere, but unexpected heating up over its south pole. In fact, temperatures above this area warmed by about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. This kind of polar warming has never been seen before. But more astonishingly, the data set collected by the scientists showed that these temperature changes happened in a matter of years, something researchers did not expect. This suggests that there could be deeper underlying reasons for why Neptune has been transformed from its usual icy state to one with unexpected hotspots. This leads us to the next question. What is happening on Neptune? Scientists think that it might have something to do with the 11-year cycle of sunspot activity around the star, which affects the brightness of clouds in Neptune's atmosphere 
and even alters how effectively the planet cools itself. It could also be related to seasonal changes in Neptune's chemistry or random weather patterns. The JWST's mid-infrared instrument can provide an incredible resolution of detail that has never been seen before when it comes to distant planets. By studying temperature maps of Neptune with unprecedented accuracy, scientists will be able to clearly identify the source of these recent changes. The data collected by the scientists and its implication on Neptune could be related to Earth as well. It suggests that climate change can happen in a matter of years, rather than decades or centuries, something we are already witnessing with global warming. It's extremely important for the researchers to know what caused the sudden shift for Neptune, and if there were any warning signs at all. If there were, could it be possible that Earth is on the same path as Neptune too? We can't exactly rule that out. Not only that, but understanding how Neptune's atmosphere changed could help us better understand our own climate change and what strategies to use when trying to counteract humans' contribution to global warming. Not just predicting, but being proactive too. We know that there are certain gases, such as carbon dioxide and methane, in Earth's atmosphere that trap heat from leaving the planet, just like Neptune experienced something similar with its clouds. Studying how Neptune is responding to forces like sunspot activity can also give us insight into how Earth may respond in the future. It's possible that Earth's climate could be affected by similar events in the future, such as increased solar activity, and this research can help us prepare. If it's already too late, the least we can do is have a detailed plan of action to do things that would ensure the survival of as many people as possible. But with all of that, there's also one theory. If there is something lurking beneath the planet's surface that has yet to be uncovered, it could mean that our current understanding of Earth is limited. Even though we live on this planet and have all the resources we could need to learn as much as we'd need to, it could also mean that new energy sources and forms of life unknown to us exist. While we can only speculate for now, it would be worthwhile for scientists to explore further into these possibilities. In conclusion, the discoveries made from observing Neptune can teach us a lot about Earth and how its climate works. Further research on celestial bodies like Neptune can give us insights into forces at work beyond our planet and how climate changes can speed up over time. This knowledge can be applied to Earth in order to understand our own changing climate and come up with strategies for dealing with global warming. Additionally, it could also open up possibilities of new energy sources and life forms we have yet to discover. So what could this all mean? We don't know yet. But it is certainly concerning news for those of us here on Earth. Could there be even bigger secrets lurking beneath the surface of Neptune? The study has already proven that our understanding of this distant world is imperfect, and it's likely that more scientific discoveries will be made as we delve deeper into its secrets. In the meantime, all we can do is prepare ourselves for what new terrifying images the James Webb Space Telescope might reveal. Who knows what kind of mysteries await us in our cosmic backyard, and how much closer they might bring us to unraveling their secrets. All we know for sure is that there are certainly some spooky surprises lurking out there in space. So, let's make sure we're ready for them. And on that note, we'll wrap up today's video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.